Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. In the woodworking shop here, I have a builder's level, a transit, and a theodolite. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the instruments over their bases on the tripod before beginning to work. These instruments are great for building layout and site surveying, as well as establishing concrete pore heights or calculating with elevations and establishing difference in elevation. Usually the instruments are set up over a reference point, a benchmark or some kind of a known um, reference point with a known elevation, but they don't have to be necessarily, but that's how they usually are set up. So here in the woodworking shop, they are just placed on a base like this. The builder's level rotates only horizontally and the base is self-leveling within reason. The transit can tilt up and down as well as rotates horizontally and its base is also somewhat self-leveling within reason. And same for the, uh, the theodolite, it rotates horizontally over a self-leveling base and tilts up and down likewise. So, I'm gonna go in reverse order these two instruments have been set up and leveled out. This leveling takes 10 minutes. There is usually some kind of a reference for the instrument being level. So if I can focus the camera on this circular feature here, this is what you look through here. This is a small prism. It's not a, it's not an institution. It's a mirror here on a 45 degree angle so when you look through it here it directs the light or the line of sight down here so you can see directly on what's going on with this fish eye level here so from here when I look at it it is you cannot really see directly the instrument is level when the bubble in the middle is exactly in the middle of the circle or the instrument is level enough well no matter how you look at it it looks out because this prism is in the way some in any combination so that's why you need to look to here i hope that makes sense there in this configuration you can see that the bubble is pretty close to the center. It could be improved upon a little bit. And if I may say so, now it's dead center. So what I did was I moved these screws a little bit. So take a look at it. If I make a quarter turn on this one, it brings that bubble out of the center by that much. Okay, quarter turn here. So that's how this leveling looks like there. So you need to go just small amounts. Once you have it roughly inside that circle, the bubble needs to be, I'm gonna make it completely off. You see what the next leveling screw does. This one, it moves the bubble in yet another direction I'm going back and forth and with the third one we can uh, we can screw it up even more there you can see the bubble is moving yet again in another direction as I spin this leveling leg so that's how it's leveled out and how the instrument is mounted on the tripod is with this with this bolt at the bottom there's a threaded base for the instrument and and this coarse thread is engaging there with the base of the instrument when the instrument is mounted on the top of the tripod make sure that it's actually 
on the tripod as much as possible in the middle. I hope that makes sense. Because we're going in reverse order, at this point I want to point out that you might want to use some kind of a level to make sure that the base of the instrument is within reason it's level not just one way rotate it 90 degrees just start anywhere and rotate 90 degrees but within within reason this this base needs to be level how you make this base level is you've got these thumb screws here on the legs and you extend the legs and slide the legs up and down so i'm going to make it out of level now by loosening up the screw and lowering this one by a random amount and now it's completely out of level all of a sudden both ways so that's how a setup looks like for a builder's level the same principles apply for this transit on this one instead of a fisheye level there are two vials at 90 degrees to each other and in it you can see that the bubble is in the middle this instrument is built that you can see these vials and the bubbles in them directly so it doesn't have a, a prism or any kind of optical aid directly above it or around it this just works by sighting it by standing on the ground like so and likewise if I play with the thumb screws on the base say a quarter turn will make a lot of difference in the position of this bubble take a look at it if I move a quarter turn there you can see what happens to the bubble it moves way out of level rather fast same on this side a quarter turn one way or a quarter turn the other way makes a lot of difference and because of the viscosity of this fluid that fills this uh, vial uh, the bubble moves somewhat slowly so give it a little time likewise the same kind of mounting is underneath so make sure the instrument is above the base it's the same coarse thread and the threaded insert on the instrument's base will catch that coarse threaded screw so make sure the instrument is on the base ideally it should be in this position so that this leg affects this side of the instrument this one affects that side of the instrument i hope that makes sense and leveling this instrument or or the builder's level should be done in a way that when the base of the instrument is level one way rotate the instrument 90 degrees check it again rotate it through a full circle make sure that the vials or the fisheye bubble on that one stays level or stays centered at all times lastly this instrument here does have a an optical level as well on it obviously this is just sitting on this bench top and it's out of level as is and again if I adjust this thumb screw at the base of the instrument Changes will be made to this. There we go. Okay, that's a little too much. There are that. So that's one way, and I need to rotate it 90 degrees so that these two, uh, these two screws, or yeah, these two threaded screws are affecting it. Let's see. Let's go this way. that's looking better let's rotate it back that one went a little bit out of alignment so sometimes it's a little finicky like this eventually in all positions the uh, the bubble will be 
centered and will stay centered when you turn the instrument through 360 degrees. 